On a remote farm in northern Malaysia stand row upon row of Bambara groundnuts. Native to Africa, the legume is considered an orphan crop, grown by traditional farmers but increasingly neglected in favour of cash crops. Hashim Subo is one of a handful of farmers working with a research centre to put the crop back in the market. I would uh, plant more if I find uh, this variety is suitable. Uh, then uh, talk about uh, market demand. Uh, the demand is great. Farmers here traditionally grow just enough Bambara groundnuts for their families. They're sold at markets only when there's a surplus. Crops for the Future, an international organization dedicated to promoting underutilized crops, is hoping to change that. Researchers are concerned the climate crisis and the world's overdependence on four major crops wheat rice, soy and corn could cause food shortages in the future. When we have 10 billion people, it's three degrees hotter, we've got four crops. That's incredibly risky. Now, of course, they're good crops. I'm not saying they're not. But will they be enough in the future? And therefore, we say, if they're not, what other crops have we got in the armory that humanity has cultivated for thousands of years? And they're still around because we didn't do any research on them, but they're still going. That means they must be resilient. They must be tough crops. Encouraging underused crops onto our plates is also a way to increase diversity and nutrition in our diets. At the centre's laboratory, food technologist Tan Zin Lin experiments with ways in which Bambara groundnuts, high in protein and essential amino acids, can be used. We found out a good way of uh, how we could introduce the new ingredient into people's diet. That's by incorporating the ingredients into foods that they are familiar with. These noodles were made by substituting 20% of the wheat flour with flour made from Bambara groundnuts. Biscuits, savoury snacks can also be made in a similar way. These are all examples of how underutilised crops can be incorporated into our diet. But so far, none of the products here have been made commercially available. Food manufacturers have been reluctant, largely because of the unreliable supply of Bambara groundnuts. That's where farmers like Hashim come in. A successful harvest could be a step towards making the long-overlooked Bambara groundnut a crop for the future. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Semenye, Malaysia.